serious, Redditors who have lived in a haunted house, what super creepy paranormal activity did you experience? Serious replies only. I lived in one when I was a teen, along with my parents. Several instances come to mind. We were remodeling an old farmhouse and had been there a couple of months before witnessing anything. One day, I was underneath my truck, which was supported by only a jack, stupid, I know, I was in the middle of working on it, with no good reason to get out at that moment. Suddenly the overwhelming urge to get out from underneath overwhelmed me. No sooner than I got out, the truck fell to the ground, the jack had slipped. Freaked dad out, he thought I was under it. When mom got home, we mentioned it, and she started crying, sobbing pretty hard. It turns out the previous owner died in the driveway, under a vehicle, in that spot. I would often see moving shadows, and strangely hear music from the upstairs area. The windows of the old house were corked shut, and blackbirds would often get caught between the panes. We ended up replacing all the windows but we had to break three inside panes to get them out. One of the more disturbing things happened when my mother was cooking breakfast, she turned away to get something out of the cabinet, and when she turned back around, all the forks set out were bent straight up. I used to live in an old big 5 bedroom house with 6 other people. My so and I shared one of the rooms. I saw a stranger in my room when I was in my 20s. It wasn't exactly visible, but I somewhat knew it was right there in the corner of the room. My so was next to me sleeping. While I had my eyes open, I knew it was there. So I closed my eyes. I tried to wish it away. I opened my eyes, and it was now next to the bed, looking at me. I closed my eyes again, and suddenly relief came. I opened my eyes, nothing there. I saw it once again at the stairs. It was only a brief moment this time, and then it was gone. I lived in a house that seemed to be haunted by doppelgangers. Every event that happened never involved some mysterious figure, but a known person being in a place where they should not have been. Here are a few examples. I was a teenager at the time, and I was instant messaging my GF at the time with my webcam turned on. I had a viewer up so that I could see myself in the webcam. Behind me, there was the stairs leading up, left of camera view, and the entrance to the living room, right of camera view. My younger sister would typically fall asleep every night on the couch in front of the TV, and make her way up to bed in the middle of the night. At one point in my webcam view, I saw my sister leave the living room and go up the stairs. The thing that struck me as odd was, that I didn't hear anything. It was an older Victorian house, so the wooden floor and stairs were loud as duck. Without saying anything to my GF, I got up and looked into the living room and there was my sister passed out on the couch. I sat back down and asked my GF if she had seen anything in my camera. She said yeah, I just saw your sister go upstairs. My family was all getting ready to go somewhere. I was sitting in the car with my mom and we were waiting on my sister who was still in the house. After a bit she comes out and gets in the car and just looks at me like WTF. I ask her what's wrong, and she says that just before she walked out of the house she thought I was still inside so she yelled up the stairs. 1 LT obvious, we're leaving. And apparently I yelled back, okay I'll be down in a minute. My mom woke up to someone tapping her foot, and she said someone was standing at the end of her bed who faded out after a couple seconds. She said it looked like me. I had an encounter where I woke up and felt like someone was under my covers laying up against me. When I said something, my blanket visibly deflated and I no longer felt anything. I include this with doppelgangers because though I didn't see what I felt under the blanket, it laid like my GF would have laid against me. When I was 22, I was in the military and I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. It still took like a year after the diagnosis to separate from the military, but I went home on leave for the holidays about a month after the diagnosis. Anyone that has insulin dependent diabetes typically carries around some sort of kit. Mine is black zip up pouch and it has a glucometer, insulin pen, needles, and alcohol pads. Right after I left home to head back from leave, my mom texts me to ask if I'm missing my diabetic kit. I look, and I'm not. She sends me a picture of a diabetic kit and asks if I know it. I've never seen this kit before in my life. 
Apparently, my sister went into her bedroom and discovered it outside of her window, propped up like someone had set it there. Oh, also, her bedroom is on the second floor. Nobody else we know has diabetes. My father-in-law died before my son was born, so he never met him. When we moved into our new home, my son would often be laughing in the middle of the night by himself. No biggie, kids will play with anything. One day, we were finally putting pictures up in the house and once I put up the picture of my father-in-law, he said, Oh mommy why do you have a picture of the man that comes and play with me at night? He had never ever seen a picture of my father-in-law before. I lived in an old, haunted house in college. Things got so weird that everyone moved out, except for me and one roommate. Here's a few. I woke up at 3am because my roommate's door kept opening and slamming shut. From bed, I yelled for him to stop only to realize I was the only one home that weekend. As soon as I yelled, the slamming stopped, but the hippie beads I had hanging outside my closed door began to sway perfectly, yet violently, against the door frame. For a half hour, while I debated if I should pop out my air condition unit and jump out of the window. I laid in the fetal position in bed till it stopped. I woke up at 3am, alone again, hearing the Nintendo in the back porch playing loudly. I figured a drunk kid came in and started playing. I grabbed a bat and walked towards the back of the house as the music got louder and louder. As soon as I opened the door, it was completely quiet. Mind you it was loud enough to wake me up. I had friends over and told them the house was haunted. No one believed me so I asked the ghost to do anything to prove it was there. As soon as I asked, all the lights in the house began flickering for about a minute straight. This was the middle of the day, everyone witnessed it. Almost everyone who stayed at my house had sleep paralysis at least once in the house. Every time something spooky happened, the house would smell like old lady, flowery, strong perfume. This house had a door built into the flooring that led to the basement. We always had a rug covering it up so no one knew it was there. Things would constantly go missing in the house, and turning up in the basement. This house had a coal chute from when it was heated by coal back in the day. Missing stuff would always be placed on the chute for us to come and get. Roommate had some issues. Once while playing video games late at night, he saw Miss Kind of hovering from the kitchen then move into the bathroom. The bathroom had a trap door that led to the attic, that's where we figured the old lady ghost used to like to hang out. Roommate was up late, he went to go lock the doors and turn off lights. When he turned his back on the room and walked to the door, someone breathed into his ear, ha. Huh. He thought it was me, I was sleeping, he turned around, pissed himself, and ran to his room. He was too afraid to come out and turn off lights and TV. Loud thumps in attic at all hours. For peace of mind, we told ourselves girls must have gotten in there. Voices would wake us up in the middle of the night. I spent many mornings on the front porch waiting for the sun to come up before I went back in the house. Coincidentally, I had a friend years later that rented from the same landlord, same town, different house, where he and all of his roommates moved out because that house was also haunted. I didn't think it was too weird, until he was telling me that when all of the weird stuff happened, it was accompanied by old lady, flowery, stanky perfume. Also, a lot of people had sleep paralysis in that house as well. I grew up with a good friend who claimed she could actually see dead people. Strangely enough, she has described that same smell when she tells her encounter stories, multiple times. Closest I've got to a haunted house is a haunted room. I used to sleep on the second floor, the bottom one being the first, and my sister in the attic. She used to have sleep paralysis often. Then she moved out and now I have her old room. She no longer has sleep paralysis, but I do. When I was younger, I used to take naps upstairs but by the time I was 8 years old I absolutely refused to go upstairs. The upstairs had to large, closets, attics. They ran from one side of the upstairs all the way to the other side on both sides. It was essentially a crawl space that was maybe 30 feet long. It started one day when a friend and I went crawling from one side to the other with flashlights like kids normally do. Then I saw a girl, sitting there, in the corner acting like she wanted to play with us. 
I know a lot of people say when they see a ghost they aren't scared. Just interested. Nope, I was beyond terrified. This girl looked normal, had blonde hair, a nice dress and seemed friendly. I stayed silent, kept crawling behind my friend and got out of the closet. Told him what I saw in there, he said he didn't see it, but felt like he didn't want to go back in. Then my parents would occasionally send me upstairs to get something, and when I would get up there I would see the doors swing open. As if they were trying to get me to come inside. I would lose toys and wouldn't be able to find them anywhere. Suddenly, my parents would be fishing out Christmas presents out of the attic, and we would find some of my toys in there. I remember being 8 years old, my parents are asleep still in the morning, and I leashed up my dog to go take on the monster in the attic. My dog, usually up for anything, refused to go off the top step into the attic. My parents never believed me with all the weird things that happened in that house. I would get blamed for things that happened all over the house. Leaving lights on, toys all over, things I knew I didn't do. Well, anyway we move out of there when I am 10. Not a week passes before the new owners call us up and ask if the house is haunted. Their daughter sleeps upstairs. She says that she has been playing with a blonde haired girl at night. My parents laughed at how crazy these new homeowners must be. To make an already long story short, the girl started appearing in other parts of the house for them. They kept in contact with us. They would look over while watching TV and see the girl sitting on their daughter's lap etc. They looked up on the computer the past owners of the house, found an old dressmaker that lived there and yep, a picture of the little girl wearing one of the ladies dresses. The family that moved in there were absolutely torn apart by the events. Got divorced, dad stayed living in the house and ended up taking his own life in that house. I had fallen asleep at night with my fan running, and woke up freezing, I turned it off. Not long after, I woke up hot, and turned it back on. This happened several times. The last time, I woke up hot once again, and the moment I opened my eyes, I heard the pull of my fan and looked up to see it slowly start speeding up. I said, thank you, and fell back asleep. I live in a house built in the 1800s. It survived the two world wars and it's seen some shirt I imagine. One of the previous owners had two sons, who both committed suicide. A lot of strange stuff happens. The animals, dog and parrots, will wake up from their naps and follow something with their heads just as they would follow me if I walk around. Also, before I switched rooms in the house, my brother had a room and he refused to sleep there as he would hear voices. He slept with my parents, he was a child, until the day he got my old room and since then has slept in that room without problems. There's also a whole floor we don't use and I sleep in the attic, and I pass through that floor to get to my attic. Weird explanation but it's a weird house, and I have a motion activated light there that goes on as I'm walking the stairs to that unused floor. It would also switch on in the middle of the night while nobody is walking under the motion detector. Also, there's cold spots. I watched one of our cats being pulled backwards about 5 feet by her tail. She was walking through the dining area, and suddenly was sliding backwards, as if someone was pulling her by her tail. Only there wasn't. She freaked out and tried to run, but couldn't immediately as something held on for a brief second before letting her go. I tend to think that was the handiwork of a 4 or 5 year old girl ghost who hangs out, and she just wanted to play with a kitty.